Hello world <laughs> and welcome to the Mecca of Mastery TV. I am your host Mecca. If it is your mission to become the greatest version of yourself in every area of life, then you my soul friend are in the right place. Okay. I'm so excited about this episode because in this video we are speaking about personal development and relationships. And the topic of this video is the best relationship advice. Let's get straight into the video. Whew. relationships don't we love love we absolutely love love like who don't love to be seen and heard and valued by another person when somebody just love the hell out of you okay when they just want to inhale your whole being and energy when they look at you and you see just the universe and they give you those butterflies and you feel that tinkling energy all in your womb area and your genitals and your toes and you just want to shower them and kiss them all over their forehead and you want to co-create life with them and you want to just give them all type of babies and you want to swim with them and you want to just go to the moon and the stars and watch the sunset with them and have ice cream and cupcakes and laugh and make jokes and make love and plant seeds and gardens and build generational wealth. And oh my gosh, it feels so beautiful when you are just in the space of somebody in the frequency and it's so electric and it feels so good that the hair just raise up off the back of your neck. Oh, it feels like home. Mm. Oh, I had a moment. Love energy. But before I get into the drip of this video, Make sure if you are not a family member here at Mecca Mastery TV yet, that you make it official, baby, and you hit that subscribe button so you never miss any updates, okay? Because I am dropping weekly. I have crystals in my hand if you're wondering what's in my hand. I'm dropping weekly soul food every single Monday. Food for your soul. So hit the, hit, the, hit the subscribe button. Okay, so let's get into it. Love energy. The best relationship advice. I've been through a million of them. I've had... I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight M's in my bank account. Ooh, relationships in my bank account. I've been through many relationships. I used to be embarrassed about this at first, but I realized thank you for allowing me to go through so many lovers universe because it was an experience after an experience after experience. And I had to learn really what love meant through all those experiences and running through lovers. So I'm grateful for all those experiences. I'm no longer embarrassed about running through lovers and having uh, a thousand boyfriends because I had to learn what was wrong with me and what I was doing wrong and about relationships in general. So what I've learned and with the best relationship advice I can give to you, because it's like now my relationships are harmonious. I don't have problems anymore in the relationship. If I end a relationship, it's because of a reason bigger than myself, not because of the union itself was so big. It is just because, you know, your soul and my soul has just grown apart and it was nothing that's bad. You know, we're not going to force anything onto each other. Or it's because I just realized, oh, this is about to come to an end. And I see it because I've done something or they've done something they're trying, like trying to control me and I cannot be controlled. Neither nobody can be controlled. So yeah, let's get into it. Let me stop. I like to talk. Shut up. I'm here to talk. Uh, damn. Okay. Whatever. So rule number one, detach, detach. If you are too attached to the person you're in a relationship with, it's always going to fail. You come into this world alone. You're going to leave alone. You're going to die. This is not to say that you can't love somebody and inhale them to the point you love their dirty jaws and you be with them at every single moment. But if you are too attached to the point that you feel like you cannot live out your own life and your own world without the saying, without the doing, without the person being there, without their physical, anything, them there, you are too attached. And you have to remember that People were attracted to you for a specific reason. Maybe you were thriving in your world. You were in alignment. You were in a space where you were aligned. You were vibrating deep in your creativity, just honing in on your spirituality, living confidently, doing the things that you love and that you want, reading a lot, adhering to your nature, to, to animals, walking, doing your workout, your fitness, you know, eating real good. You were in vibrating deep into your world. 
you were living, being rested in your world. And what some people do is they get into a relationship and they forget about their world. And they get too attached to the world of the relationship and to the person and in their world. And so what happens is it becomes too bear too overbearing for the person because you're too attached. And so what happens is you start looking at that person because you lose yourself. And when you are so attached, it just, oh, baby, people start getting irritated because you're focusing too much on them. So another thing is don't focus on them too much because here's the truth. Relationships are not chosen. We attract. You don't want to go out and pick somebody. You want to attract somebody. I mean, that's why personally, I don't really agree. It's, it's a beautiful thing. There's beautiful things that come out of it. You know, I don't knock anything, but I personally don't agree. Like finding the dating, the dating app, going to the speed dating, all of that. I don't agree because it's like I'm picking versus when I'm at a hair salon and then I'm getting my hair done. And then there's a person there that's doing something and, and they come in to do some film work. And then all of a sudden, like, I've never seen this person from a can of paint. And then they end up being my husband. You know what I'm saying? I didn't plan any of this. I put my intentions out into the universe about the type of relationship that I want. Then I aligned a vi vibrationally with that type of relationship, okay? With the re for what I want with for the type of relationship that I want and the type of partner I want to attract. And then I just allowed the universe to do her thing and to bring it to me for us to attract one another. So... You don't want to force anything because if you force anything, that's when it's going to go bad. Another, another thing I want to talk about is when you are in a relationship, be present and have dates. You got to have a date night. Like I feel like every relationship, if you are in a relationship, you have to have a date night at least once a week. Okay. Depending on how your life is. If you out of town and you on the road, you can do a virtual date night. Y'all can watch the same movie or y'all can go to a dinner you go to dinner by yourself and I'm at dinner by myself and we're on FaceTime. It's 2022. If you don't have video call, get with the program, okay? Or y'all can sit on the phone or whatever. Y'all can paint together, but y'all can have a date night. Y'all can sit there and do questionnaire. You can get creative, okay? If you don't have money, you can create a picnic in the back of your house or in the house. But you have to be present with the person that you are with. Because when you are not, it will just feel like that you are coexisting with them. Yeah, you're friends, right? You got all of this stuff. You got girlfriend, boyfriend role, role, wife and husband role, but there's no connection. It's not present. There's no energy. You know how you got to connect with the computer at work or you connect with the way you connect with money. You need to be connected with your partner in that way, giving them your undivided attention when you are in their presence. Of course, this is not 24 seven. Don't be don't be unrealistic, baby. We're not trying to say, I am I am so selfish. I just want you to make me your point of attraction all day, 24-7, 365 days. No. But if it's a deliberate time, deliberate amount of time, we block out this hour, these two hours for just us. There needs not to be a video game, a phone, a text message, a mama call, a daddy call. Kids keep calling for nothing, interrupting y'all time because when it is then you won't feel the energy of the relationship and lastly stop focusing so much on their world relationships has its seasons it's not always going to be the summer phase where you bearing fruit it's not always going to be you know the spring phase is not always going to be all glitter and glamorous when it become moments in your relationship where Things just start to get a little cold on ice, chill. It's just like, I don't even know what the hell is going on. You turn your attention to yourself. You can never go wrong with turning your attention to yourself. That don't mean cheat. That don't mean go and do anything crazy. If you hear any noise in the background, I'm so sorry. That's my, that's my cat literally rolling one of my crystals across the floor. I'm about to, she about to she about to get these hands. I'm joking. I'm not even gonna put my hands on my cat, but I'm about to definitely give her a word. Okay, but um, yes, focus on yourself. Turn your attention to yourself because of what happened. And what happens is when you start to do that and you turn your attention to yourself and you get yourself together, your partner catches on. If that's your true partner, don't force anything and don't be afraid to lose people as well because you can never lose something that you don't own. You don't own people. People don't own you. We don't own each other. I'm dying alone. You're dying alone. Even if you die with your partner, but you know exactly what I'm talking about. Relationships are not ownership. Give people their space to breathe and then you will see that it always comes back to you. Okay. And with that being said, I hope you love this video and you share this with somebody that you care about.
Because we always sit here on Mecca Mastery TV that's sharing this caring. Now, okay, if you want to talk to me, you can click the link in the description box below. Pick my brain session. And also check out all the virtual products and services that I have available. Food for your soul and everything like that. And if you're on social media, please make sure that you follow me on social media if that's your thing. And if you got any questions for me, if you need any advice, then you can email me at meccabookings at gmail.com. But with that being said, my friend, you go out into the world, you kick a whole lot of action. Don't let anybody tell you. That you can't do anything because you can do whatever you put your mind, your heart, and your soul to. Faith, stop. It's the cat. I'm sorry. I'm sending my love, my light, peace, tranquility, good ass vibes and energy your way. High frequency. Alignment is the goal. Until next time, I see you in the next episode. Peace and love. See you.